All right, guys. I'm in Chicago right now. I know. You'll never believe where I am. For those of you in the uh, Toy Hauling Goons page and Facebook, you know where I am. You probably know where I am. Where I am. Okay, okay. I'm going to roast fan right here. Who's with me? What's Ash up? Ash Rock. What's up, dudes? In the house. You and know? we are in his danger room, okay? This is one thing I've been meaning to get into. Like, I was telling Ash, this is one of the things on my bucket list. I gotta visit this place. And fortunately, we were on vacation. We were just a random thing. We were in Chicago. I met up with my brother and all that. And I messaged this guy up. Originally, he, said, he wanted to go go get hookers. And I said, dude, you can't do yeah, that. Yeah, you know? that was the thing. The wife was with us. Uh, but, uh, uh, I was like, no, dude. We gotta just come see the danger room. Have a beer with me. <laughs> Legs. No hookers. The hookers are not coming, right? No, they're, they're not. They're not coming. No, no. Okay, After okay. you leave, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Show us. Show us the place. So this is uh, this is the one part of the, the theater room. Okay. Uh, got uh, the 92-inch TV and all the movies and stuff like that, theater chairs. And over here, um, you'll see uh, mostly it's it's movie-related figures. So I have a lot of, uh, you know, being in a theater movie related action figures, some of my favorite movies, and, and, and some of the video games too. So you see a lot of that. So I got a lot of um, some custom work here. These are these turtles here are actually uh, custom made by my buddy John Papa Sergio. Mm -hmm. So he took some of the comic book exclusives and, and, and turned them around. And then Terminators down there, you'll see more, uh, what is it? Some more Terminators and some Batman stuff. and. Look at that. That's yeah. probably my favorite that right there. The NECA one, yeah. yeah. That one's gorgeous. It really is a nice figure. Mm -hmm. So, um, this one's not bad too. No, the original Terminator. No, that one's actually nice too. Um, and if you come up, you'll see all the artwork on the walls. I got a lot of different artwork. Got to meet uh, Todd McFarlane a couple of years ago at uh, Comic Con. Wow. Got him to wow. sign that. Got it framed and everything. Um, some sports memorabilia, and then uh, just some unique little little art for the for the theater room. Um, In case of zombies, break glass. Yes. <laughs> That's not a real shotgun, <laughs> by the way. Everybody always asks me, is that a real? No, it's not. I wouldn't just display a shotgun like that. Are you getting the uh, Lucille, the the baseball bat? I have Lucille. You do? I have the original Comic Con one from like four years ago. I gotta see that. Yeah, that one's uh, that one's actually my bathroom. <laughs> of all places, it's over here in my bathroom. Okay, okay. But, let me just, um, let me get get a shot of these things. Uh, yeah, those are some. Uh, wow. Uh, some of the DVD collections, basically like the special editions and stuff like that. Spider-Man cookie jar, mm -hmm. you know, just cool stuff all around. Oh. Little trinkets. What are you we, playing? We could, probably spend, we could probably spend like three days here. Huh? <laughs> what are you playing now? I mean, on the on the PS. Uh, I am playing. I don't know what I'm playing right now. Actually, I'm trying. Still trying to be Uncharted three. Uh -huh. I've been I've been sitting on that one for a long time. So. Okay. Uh, then you come into here, when you look down really quick, so, got a custom made little I love rug. That. I love that. Welcome yeah, to you the danger room. Yeah, you showed us that on Instagram, I think. Yep. Then you come inside, it's a little bit messy, guys, <clears throat> I apologize in advance, I'm redoing it this week. This is great, this is how a true collector lives. <laughs> yeah. This is, you know... It's just insane. You've seen Pixel Dan's room? Yeah. That's insane, okay? Yeah. Yours is absolutely clean, compared to his room. Yeah. I, I actually like it a lot more cleaner. Um, okay. This is the destroyer figure I was telling you about. Wow. So Let me see. Highly recommend that. I gotta feel this. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a it's a big boy, man. But it's, it's a nice figure. It's really heavy. well sculpted. I love the finish. I on didn't it. know it didn't it was glossy. I thought yeah, the, the, the Photoshop is... uh pictures on, on the internet were like bad. No, it's it's definitely shiny. It's got a good shine to it. It's not too shiny, man. but I think it's 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 proper. Okay, where do we begin? Well, uh, on the wall is where it really started. The Marvel Universe figures, they're all over the walls. Uh, I have every single uh, carded figure on the wall um, in, in package. Uh, as I told FX before, um, I got rid of my loose ones. I uh, just kind of got sick of them and I had to get rid of some stuff. But kept all my uh, MOCs and you'll see them scattered all over the place. Um, and then over here on the, on the right... You'll see all okay. my WWE Elite collection. So I have a lot of... Uh, I do mostly the classic characters. Um, but you'll see a couple of new characters here and there. But mostly the classics. The stuff I grew up on. The nostalgic feel. And that's really cool what uh, what, what uh, Mattel does with the waves now. Where they come out with maybe six figures. Razor Ramon. Yep. Watch them, man. Yep. Oh, man. 
They're really nice, man. I mean, they're really. Man, I think they're really nice. Oh, I think SH Figure Arts is trying to trying to do the rest yeah. of the figures now, but it's just it's not working. I don't mm-hmm. think it's working. They don't look great to me. I've seen the Rock. Uh, it was it was okay. Yeah, it's it's. Eh. I think they're gonna stop making those pretty soon. I could see them stop making them, but. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. It, they're everywhere, and then mint. This is your retirement, and if you ever need, <laughs> if you ever need some, <laughs> some, some money, cash, some money. Yep. yep. This is this is it. You're sitting on a man. This is a gold mine. Look at this. And then I got the, all the I got more MOC stuff over there. Um, got some oh, I, cool, I have some that. Cool too. I have that too. The, the Thanos, uh, yeah, the, the, the coin bank. bank. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought it looked great. I mean, nobody even knows it's a real piggy bank. Yeah. It just looks like a glove. I've tried to sell it, like, cheap for a while because I thought I need some money to get another toy. Nobody bought it. I was like, okay, I'm keeping it. Yeah. And it's actually pretty nice. And it now, is nice. And now that Avengers 3 is coming out, uh-huh. now everybody wants the glove. Yep. So I was like, wow, look at this. Up on the wall, you'll see a custom uh, artwork that I got made. Um, it's it's I forget <laughs> who the artist is, but... Um, Long story short, I saw it online, and I had one of my buddies who owns a canvas company uh-huh. uh, make that for me. Uh, blew it up, made sure it was nice and neat, and X Men's nice. my favorite thing in the world. So it just, it, it's a beautiful yeah, piece. Yeah, me so. too, man. X Men, yeah, high school, and um, like all the girls were like, "You will never grow metal wings. Just give it up, okay? <laughs> give it up." And I was like, "You never know." But they don't know because you have metal wings. Fuck them, <laughs> you know. Oh, by the way, yeah, when when you're hanging out with Ashrock, it gets a little rated R, so I'm sorry, that's ladies fine. and gentlemen. Yeah, that's fine. Um, over here is more MOC stuff, but uh, I got some of the build figures Got some of the Marvel Universe uh, stuff that I kept loose, which is the Sentinels. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not Sentinels, the um, Galactus figures. You so you got the Ultimate it. and the regular Ant-Man build a figure Some cool little stuff here. This is the Simpsons uh, Stan Lee. Uh, this is the Comic-Con? only Stan Lee I can get. Uh, no, this is actually, it was just like a... Toys R Us exclusive or okay. release. Okay. But uh, they had comic books too. But uh, he came with the Disney wave or the I'm sorry, the Simpsons wave. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was kind of cool. This I got a uh, custom arcade machine, uh, the old school X Men X Men yeah, game. Yeah, if yeah. you guys remember this, I actually played that. Yes, yeah, so one of my buddies actually made this for me. He hit me up. He's like, uh, "You want one of these?" And I was like, "Uh, yeah." So I, <laughs> I took it. Um, so I'm rearranging some stuff here. This is where more legends are gonna go. Mm-hmm. I'm taking my these are my Street Fighter Soda uh, action figures. These are going to go um, probably one of those detox over there, which we'll get to in a second. You got every single one of them. Pretty it's, much. It's I, I'm, I'm missing Dalsum, uh, the original, you know, the not, brown. Not, not that one. Right? No, I got the blue Dalsum, but I need the brown Dalsum, and I'm missing, uh, I'm missing a couple. I'm missing about mm. seven or eight, and then some of the very variants, but some of the variants were kind of goofy, so I didn't really care for them anyways. I like this lamp. Yeah, I got that uh, on eBay. I just had to get something to tie in the room, the lamp, and mm-hmm. then the, uh, the the clock, the little alarm clock, uh, the Wolverine alarm clock to go nice. along with the room. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, one of my buddies made me a custom Ash uh, Mini Mate. No way. So that's me with my Ash hat and my ACBA t-shirt. <laughs> I actually have a Wolverine jacket, Yeah. which I put on him, and then I put the X-Men belt buckle on him. Mm-hmm. So he made that for me. He's even got little Nikes. Quicksilver Nikes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really cool. See, this is the time. This is a point where Hasbro should be thanking you, <laughs> <laughs> and all the other toy companies. Uh, Mini Mates galore. Yeah, uh, I, have, I have roughly three thousand Mini Mates at this point. Um, these are what? these are yeah. These are the ones uh, I display. This is actually a shot glass, shot glass cabinet. Yep. Um, I did uh, do a video on this and how this works. The shot glass cabinet costs about about one hundred fifty dollars, but it pays for itself. Inside of this, I have about a thousand mini mates displayed. So you know, each each row can hold roughly fifty to seventy mini mates, depending on how you position them. Um, got a couple of cool custom ones that buddies made me. Um, you know, with mini mates, it's really the collectability. You're not looking for articulation, but if you're talking about um, characters, mm-hmm. no other than uh, pop figures, mm-hmm. you know, with, with the with the bobbleheads or whatever. Mm. These give you the best character selection and different variations of their costumes and stuff like that. So I, I think they're highly collectible. I don't look at them as like oh super articulated and detailed. 
they have a nostalgic feel to them and a simple feel to them, and I'm okay with that. You know, and and I, I think they're just really really fun. They're fun. So there's some figures that I even I didn't even know they made. Well, the Mojo made. that's a custom. Yeah, okay. that my buddy made that for me. The Blob. The Blob is really cool. Uh, there's some. There's some. Man, I. You know, first Th there's thousands of them. I mean, there's this? literally thousands. Was, is this a real one? That's plus? a custom. Yeah. That's a custom random. Nice. Yeah, that's a custom strong guy, and a custom '90s Havoc. Wow. But the rest of them are pretty much <clears throat> releases by the companies. So you got every single one of them. Pretty much all all the Marvel ones. I do some of the movie ones, but mostly the comic book stuff. And I do remember you were like in one convention, and you're looking at the mini mates. The first time you saw the mini mates, you're like. These are garbage. These yeah, are, I remember that video. Yeah, and then all of a sudden. Yeah. Well, it, it's just weird how it works because my buddy, who who got he came across a, a lot of them, and he said, "Do you want any mini mates?" And I said, "You know what? I'll take the X Men ones because I'm an X Men guy." Mm -hmm. So I ended up buying like a hundred something X Men mini mates, which is this whole first five rows is all X Men characters, mm -hmm. and. I love them. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe they made this guy and that guy and this costume and that costume. Like, look, let me look. They got the whole Age of Apocalypse. The whole <laughs> Age of Apocalypse. Like, you're not going to get that in Legends, ever. Look at all that. All the ex Age of Apocalypse characters are in there. Yeah. Which is so cool. So as soon as I got them, I was like, oh no, I got to get more. And it just, it became, you know, just like any collect collecting anything. Once you start, man, it's fucking over. I don't see the Avengers, so no Avengers. Avengers, this is oh, right here. here. Right. Yep, okay. this is all my Avengers figures. Okay. Avengers right, right, characters. right, right, right. And you get to some of the villains. And you army built the, uh, the, the hand ninjas. Hand ninjas. I got AIM soldiers. <laughs> I actually have 22 Jamie Madrixes. No way. Yeah. He's one of my favorite characters. 22 of these things? Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got, oh, yeah, yeah, I got 19. Them. They're all in the background. Yeah, but I have about 19 of them here, and then I have some more in package. <laughs> <laughs> I just love Jamie. I, that's he's a really cool character. I don't know if you've ever read this uh, this series here. It's the X Factor series. Um, really, really good series. I highly was it by Peter it. David? Yes, the Peter David series. Yeah, I think I I think I did read that. It is <clears throat> awesome. It was mm, really really yeah. during the House of M stuff that was happening in Marvel with X Men. That mm. was kind of uh, they branched off to yeah, you yeah. know, and it was cool because it was you know Jamie and his team basically said hey. We're gonna do our thing, Cyclops. You go do your thing. We don't care. Like, and it was it was cool. Like it was it yeah, was, it was, yeah, it was yeah, different. Yeah, 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 and I liked it. So watch your step. Wait, wait, wait. what's this one? This is that not is, a release. Nope. This is um, these wings were custom made um, by um, my buddy uh, on 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 Facebook, mm -hmm. Jason Clendending. He made the wings. Oh yeah, Jason did those. Yeah, okay. he painted them for me. And they were from the. Uh... No, not Jason. I'm sorry. Shit. Who's the other? So, uh, Samurai. What's his name? Something Samurai. <clears throat> I forget his fucking name. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. I've had beer. But uh, he painted the wings. Uh, he didn't mold them. I forgot who molded them, but he he asked me. I asked oh, him. these are like, molded? These are molded, yeah. These are actually molded wings. Well, from a printer? Or? I, no <clears throat> clue. From a customizer. Some kind of customizer. Oh, they're nice. But it, it really turned the figure from a, a simple kind of eh, figure to a very awesome looking figure. I know, I know. I was about to sell my... Uh... My uh, Falcon cap uh, a couple weeks ago, and I said, nah, I'm gonna hang on to it. And that's nice. And since we're doing. Uh, that's nice. This is my custom. I wish there was a way I could get one of those, another one of those, those wings. Well, who knows? I'll come back to Chicago. Yeah, man, just let me know. <clears throat> Hit me up on Facebook. Yeah. You got my number now, too. Yeah. You don't have to just send me dick pics all the time. <laughs> you can, like, message me random. <laughs> Fix is always sending. He's always sending dick pics. You know, it's a fucking weirdo. What's wrong with him? <laughs> I swear to God, I will post this video. I know you will on on the uh, on the, uh, the the toy hauling goons page. Man, uh, everybody's gonna get a laugh. Good uh, laugh, man. So this is uh, my my custom professor X. Yeah, I saw that on Instagram. That yeah. was amazing. Who, yeah, who did that? This is by the one and only um, Loose Collector. Oh, so okay. it's a Loose Collector piece. Um, he put them up. Uh, Earlier, I want to say, well, uh, end of last year, he, he said who was interested in them, and I automatically raised my hand. I said, "That's a really cool piece." Comes with this little blanket and it's, stuff. What is it made of? Is it plastic? It's no, it's it's straight metal. You can grab it. I mean, it's oh, it's, it's a heavy duty piece. Diecast. It's diecast, man. Yeah, it's a real deal. 
Does it hover? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like, no, I meant on a metallic. Um, you know what those magnets? Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, no, I mean you probably could. I, I don't. I mean it comes with a base. I don't know where the base is at. That would be right. Maybe you'll find another customizer who'll do that. Because I've seen those uh, small baby Iron Man. Yeah. The ones that, that float. Normally, that float. Yeah. That would be amazing. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, if it floated. Okay, yeah, okay. that's a nice piece. Oh, so he's into Star Wars now. You should be doing reviews of those. Yeah, yeah. these are my SH Figure Arts ones. It's really the only Star Wars I do. Um, I don't do the Black Series anymore. I thought the quality control went to shit on a lot of those. You should do the SH Figure Does anybody in the this comment is, uh, section let us know if Ashrock should start reviewing? Are you putting this on your YouTube too? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. You should you should comment or in <laughs> or on the Toy Hauling Goons page. Everybody who thinks Ashrock should start reviewing these Japanese imports. Well, you're going to get most of your comments from YouTube because <laughs> the, the Goons page has been dead. I mean, there's not a lot of people on there as I much. Know, but um, This is uh, the Storm Collectibles. Wow. I don't know if you've seen any of these yet. These are really nice figures. I've really just well seen made. pictures of them, but not the actual yeah, toy. Yeah, you, you can hold on to it. I mean, you can see it. It's a nice... Even the well, joint. The yeah, joint is like... Well-crafted figures, man. I got that in the... Uh, uh, I think I got the... Is he up here somewhere? I got the... Sub Zero somewhere. Scorpion. <laughs> I'm just doing that in my head right now. The Mortal Kombat wins. Get over here. Get over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. So you still get this one, and we're talking about this one. Yeah, we're just talking about that. Great figure. It's a great figure. I'm not gonna sell mine. Part mm -hmm. of the Guardian scene. I actually, you know what? For some weird reason, I like the Eddie Brock Venom, but I do like this one. The Flash yeah, it's Thompson. different. I mean, why not? So Gandalf just lost his head. <laughs> oh, do you mean? <laughs> Oh, is that Odin? Oh, Odin. sorry, that was That's Gandalf. That's the Odin that comes with the, with the destroyer. destroyer. Yeah. Oh, it is Odin. That's his sword right there, too. Yeah? On the floor. Okay. Big old sword that comes with it. Aren't you just curious what's going to happen in Ragnarok? I mean... I hope, that, I hope it does well. I was not a big fan of the two, the first two Thor movies. I hope they don't screw it up, honestly. But I think Hulk is going to steal the show. Definitely, definitely. Hulk? No. Hulk's going to steal the show. It's going to be really cool to see him. Okay, so where are we at right now? These are just random Gee, stuff. Those are just random Marvel Legends hey, figures. Hey, this, this is one of my favorites. The Spider-Gwen. Spider -Gwen. Yeah. Yep. Well, my plan is to move all my Spider-Man and X-Men figures onto that shelf over there. Okay. To the far right. Okay. And that way I have more more room for them. But because the majority of my collection is X-Men and Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man, I mean, he comes out with two, three waves a year. Mm -hmm. So trying to keep up with it, you know, I ran I ran out of room. This is actually my Spider-Man section here where I ran out of room. Some of them fell off and stuff, but that's why you'll see some of them scattered down there. Uh, that's the Spider-Man shelf, so a lot of villains and, and, and You should and do a like Spider-Verse. A Spider-Verse yeah. shelf. Like every, yeah, every, sure. They're trying to release every single one. They really are. Yeah, they're doing a good job with it. Here's uh, just a bunch of random uh, different villains and stuff like that. Um, you'll see to the far right, Modoc and all his AIM soldiers, and then um, some, you know, different space villains and oh, Hellas yeah. back there. That Giant. Hella figure, by the way, is probably one of the best female figures yep. Yep. that's ever been made in Marvel. Definitely, Legends. I think the Hella for me, and by Hasbro at least, but the Hella and this young lady here, Magic, which is a very expensive figure now, but. If you had the chance to get her back in the day and you didn't pull the trigger, well, number one, you're an idiot because <laughs> it's worth a lot of money. But two, this is a great, great action figure. I, I really hope she gets re-released into a X-Men wave yep. along with a Psylocke. We finally, hopefully, can get a new Psylocke figure. I think we deserve a new Psylocke figure. Yeah, they promised us a regular Psylocke and it's not, not been happening. No. And the one that came out was the X Force exclusive, yeah. which is not the greatest. It really isn't. It goes for way too okay. much. Okay, I find well, I found one of the things I was gonna steal before I left. That figure, the Vision. What the <laughs> hell? No, not that one. That one. That one right there. The regular Vision. The regular Vision. You don't have the regular Vision? No. I had about seven or eight of them. I yeah, I bought a lot when they came out. I was just buying them, and I sold them when I bought the house. I sold them to to help pay for the. Damn. For the theater, and they, they definitely helped. Okay, okay. I made a lot of money on that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's fine. No, I'm not interested in more in the vision. You know, I'm, I'm over it. Are you sure? Well, you, know, you take one look at it. <laughs> <laughs> but very, very nice. Look at this. Oh, Deadpool's right here. Yeah, that's the new Deadpool. Did you get the uh, Yamaguchi? 
I have not gotten that one. The, that, the is Tech? that is amazing. Is it? That, I did a review on it. It yeah. was amazing. Yeah. Uh, it scales just about this size, but but his scale is almost the same. And I and I thought, you know, man, if you're the Wolverine looks amazing. The Wolverine looks amazing. If you're a, if you like posing figures, yeah, <laughs> you know, know me, I pose figures. Yeah, you oh, you're gonna love it, man. You're gonna love it. Okay. So and then over here's the Avengers and X Men characters, obviously up there. To me, my X Men. Yep. <laughs> Wolverine, give me up. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, got some stuff. some yeah some turtles. <laughs> A lot of turtles action. Whoa, over what here. is that? Is that the uh, Dark Vader? The uh, realization? Samurai. The yep. movie realization? Yeah. I never understood those things. I mean. I just thought it looked really cool. I just thought it really looked yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. They were cheap in Japan. When my wife was on business, she was like, Do you want these? No, no, I want those. I don't get them. They yeah. have a lot of bootleg ones, too, though. Yeah, they, they do. make they a do. lot of bootleg of uh, those ones. So you gotta be careful. But the, over there is all the Star Wars SH figure arts. A lot of them falling over, See, unfortunately. See, this is, this is what I'm saying. You should be reviewing these things right now. They're gorgeous figures, man. They really are. They are amazing. Not a lot of people review them uh, because they're very pricey and they're imports and whatnot. Uh, you should do reviews of them. Yeah. You have everybody. Yeah, I got, the, I got a lot of the original movies. How many Stormtroopers did you get? Well, those aren't SH figure arts. Those are the normal... The Hasbro ones. Hasbro ones, yeah. That's I wasn't going to pay $50. <laughs> for... I thought they were figure arts. No. That's okay. that's a way too much. So a lot of the, the Stormtroopers I do Hasbro just because okay. they're cheaper alternatives. And they don't look bad, actually. the Their army builders don't look bad. Uh -huh. It's some of their, like, the the Slave Leia. I mean, come on. Yeah. That was garbage. You know, like, some of, their, some of the Hasbro ones are just garbage, you know? But... I do have that Darth Maul. A friend, of mine, a friend of mine gave it as a Christmas present two years ago. Great figure. Oh, I, I was like, the struggle was real to get into SH. <laughs> and Do not buy, buy another SH figure. Another I was like, oh my God. Are you kidding me? So my little God of War shrine over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard so you got the NECA, the NECA God of War, uh, which is the, the two that you see uh, in front of the big one. Those are NECA. And it's NECA's, my opinion, is NECA's best figures ever made. Mm -hmm. Have you have you actually seen them? Which one, the Kratos? Yes. No, I've not seen them. I've seen them in pictures. I mean, people always. I'm gonna them. I'm gonna like let you hold it because <clears throat> it'll change your perspective. Like it, Neca needs to make their figures like this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bust. I don't actually out. play the game, you know, but I do I do see a lot of the, the gameplay and all that, and I was like. So this is this is the figure. I mean, I sculpt, it. detail, articulation. This is the best Neca figure that's ever been made. In my opinion, like the best. Look at this guy. It is a gorgeous, well sculpted. Look at the blood I mean, look in here. I have a NECA figure with an upper bicep. Look never. That, that never happens. Never. It. You, go look through your NECAs. They, you do not see that double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, a um, little bit of, of uh, mm -hmm. uh, ankle rockers, mm -hmm. upper thigh, ab articulation on a NECA figure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't see that. You do not see that. And then a full uh, sculpted head. I mean it. I just like the detail figure. on it. Just the detail. Alone. Yes, you don't even have to pose it. He's even got tour articulation. Wow! Look at that. Wow! So I mean, he he's got when when this came out because he's my favorite video game character. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of I was like, okay, this is really cool. And and then when I got it, I was like, oh boy, this was actually the figure I had thought about reviewing when I, when I said if I was going to. That, do that was just like a quick review right there. That was pretty <laughs> yeah, twenty second review. Um, some more imports and stuff like that from Who video games. That? Who the hell is that? That's Ganondorf. I have not heard of that guy. Zelda, Legend of Zelda. He's the main villain. I don't play Zelda. You don't play Zelda? I never get. I never got past the first this round. Is a, this is another NECA figure that's actually really nice. The Nathan Drake, uh, Nathan Uncharted. Drake, definitely. This is a nice figure too. I highly recommend that one. The pops. The the Devil's crazy. Reject. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I I like the mold, the stupid cape though, or the jacket. Is this Dante? This is Dante. Okay. Terrible, terrible. Well, oh, I see. I see it's just thing. it's just a piece. Like I I would have preferred cloth, or even just a straight piece than what they were trying to. They're trying to do the whole like, oh, he's like yeah, you know yeah, getting yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. to the side. Mm. They should have made it interchangeable. Like you could, yeah, you maybe option. a different kind of. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I was really excited about that figure because it's a great um, video game franchise. But mm -hmm. um, this Kirby, I think this is by Good Smile. Um, 
Really cool figure. <laughs> all magnets. What? So it's all magnetized. It comes with like four different face sculpts. And you take his feet off. They're all they're all on magnets. So it, you can move them around. Is that by, by, by um, Mesco? It's oh, good. I think it's good smile. Oh, good smi good I smile. I think it's good Sorry. smile. I think. Don't don't quote me. Um, I think it's actually good smile. It's one of those import companies. Mm -hmm. um, really cool. The Sonic's really neat. The Link is awesome. Um, Ash. Ash, of course, had to get him. Even though I'm not a big uh, fan of. Uh, and you got Donkey Kong. Absolutely. Oh my god. Some DK action. I, I saw Super Mario somewhere. Super Mario's right down there. Oh. A lot yeah. of SH figure arts and some of the. Uh, Bowser. You know, the Bowser is actually not SH figure arts. That is the um, Pacific. Jack Pacific. Jack Pacific, yeah. yeah. I thought the mold for that is better than the SH figure arts, and the size mm -hmm. is better. Um, here you'll have some of the Mesco. Um, you kept those, huh? I sold most of those. Which ones? The Mescos? Oh, so, oh sorry. I thought they were... No, what was no these are these are Mescos. Oh, you're yeah, talking about the... The Toy Biz. Um, the old Toy Biz. Um, yeah, these are actually the Mesco um, figures. Is this the, the 112? Uh, 112. Yep. So you can kind of hold on to that. But Oh, you were talking we were talking about this one. The, gorgeous. Uh, the Cloth material. Yeah. Just the detail. Oh, awesome man. detail, man. I mean, you got the, the, the little shoulder pads are, are magnetized. Okay. So you can take them off, do your posing. And then put them back on. And then put them back on how you like, you know, yeah. to, so that it doesn't hinder articulation. Yeah. Yeah. Even like there's a little pin here is, is magnetized. Um, double jointed knees. I mean, very nice figures. Very, very nice figures. They don't, look, they don't look bad when you articulate no. them no the, they don't look i mean look at the knees the knee, the joints don't show up and the no. fabric doesn't 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 hinder no nope. yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't that was my thought process when i first saw fabric material figures yeah. being made like this yeah. was is it going to start ripping apart start yeah, yeah. wear and tear I, I, on the I, figures I, I was thinking that too but it it really doesn't man it, it does they do a great job and then uh 3a kind of followed suit uh 3a makes was that 3a this is actually 3A, also fabric material. So this is Judge Death, mm -hmm. um, and they have they have different. They have another judge. I forget his name. There's like three different judges they have. I see that. More villain type, but very well detailed. Yeah. They have a uh, Judge Dread as well. I don't like their Judge Dread. He's way too skinny. Mm -hmm. I like that one because he's a little bulkier. He's got mm -hmm. some more mass to him. Mm -hmm. That's the exclusive version. Uh, comes with a jacket, different color variations as opposed to that one. That one's a little more comic accurate, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then his the cycle, his cycle, which is really really nice. I'm not gonna pull it out, but it it lights. Oh, well, you know, fuck it, I'll pull it out. There's FX is here. You you don't come out to Chicago often, so <laughs> is it um, diecast? No, it's not diecast. It's 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 just plastic, mm -hmm. but it's got lights. Wow. It's got lights. Sounds. It does have sounds. Really? I was kidding. Man. It really does have sounds. It really uh, does have sounds. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck the sounds are. Uh, oh, here. So the sounds are... Okay. There's another one here. You can the figure actually right on it. Right? Yeah, the, the figure sits on it real nice. It's nice. But yeah, it's got the... I, I just thought the lights were so it's cool. It's so and then detailed. Even, I mean, for plastic? Yeah, look at that, dude. There's so much detail going on. It, it'll co it, it cost me, I think it was like $95. So it was a little wow. expensive. But... I just I just thought the detail for something like that. I mean, to have a headlight like the head and and the sounds and the yeah. sounds and I mean you know it's even it guys rolls, little right? it rolls it rolls the wheels roll yep wow. absolutely it's got a little bit of articulation a little movement yeah. there but not much but I just thought it looked it was a nice piece to have part of my Judge Dread collection definitely man you grew up in the eighties huh eighties nineties eighties and nineties man and then you got the little turtle uh, the the wagon the, yep um, turtle wagon and then more more turtle yeah, stuff up there. Yeah. Oh, wow. We could do this all day <laughs> if I didn't have to go and uh, <laughs> get, put, 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 the kids, got the, put the kids back I don't know sleep. if you showed the closet with all the different random boxes and stuff. Yeah. Got a little NES uh, Classic Edition, yeah. which I plan on not opening and selling maybe a year from now for like $500. You did get one of those, huh? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Those sold out pretty fast. They, well, then they're they're not making anymore. So when I got a chance to get one for sixty six dollars, I was like, all right, because they sell for two three hundred dollars online right now. Exactly. So I'm like, I'll I'll wait like a year or two and sell it. But does it work? It, I, <laughs> um, I hope. I've never used it, so I so hope it's like mint condition. The guy buys it. It doesn't work, <laughs> and it's worthless because they took it out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. no refunds, buddy. All right, so that is the danger room, my friends. And I am just, this is a privilege 
This is really, not a lot of people go here. A lot of hookers, but not a lot of collectors. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, uh, from all of us here at Chicago, if you're ever in the area, you know who to hit up. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot, guys. Take yeah. it easy. All right. Thanks for watching.